What an interesting story that is. And Anne Bancroft, such a terrific actress. She was married to Mel Brooks at the time, and it's Mel's production company, Brooks Films, that produced this movie. Had the pleasure, actually, of talking with Mel Brooks last month at our fifth TCM Classic Film Festival in Hollywood. Mel talked about a limited edition DVD set coming out soon with some of the films produced by Brooks Films. And here's what he had to say about that. The Brooks Films collection will be a series of eight DVDs in a box. And at the back of the box, I will sign and number each one. I'm only going to make a thousand. That's all I'm going to make. I just want a thousand really cine east the people who really love movies to 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 buy it and uh we'll see what happens from there but uh, i'm proud of all and now i'm like i'm, I'm co literally coming out of the closet and saying yes i'm mel brooks i'm crazy i'm a jewish madman but <laughs> thank you thank you you have no taste whatsoever but I, but, I, but I intend to give the world a, a great gift of remarkable films. Do stay with us. We'll have more of Mel Brooks talking about the films we're showing tonight and more of my interview with him from the 5th TCM Classic Film Festival. Next, though, his thoughts about a ghoulish drama from 1985 that he executive produced and starring Timothy Dalton, Jonathan Price, and Twiggy. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Timothy Dalton demands a high body count in The Doctor and the Devils. Then Peter Cushing plays God in The Curse of Frankenstein. And Guy Rolfe has a face not even his mother could love in Mr. Sardonicus.